Welcome to my channel Make Easy. Today in this video, I am going to explain you about this find the output program in QBasic using sub procedure. So if you have little bit knowledge of sub procedure, you can continue with this video. Okay, if you don't have, still you can continue. I will explain you step by step. So before starting, I have made video on find the output two programs, this one and that, this one. So again, visit my YouTube channel. This is Make Easy. You can search Make Easy Q Basic. You will get this channel. And over here, you can see pattern printing programs, basic programs, mid dollar, left dollar, right dollar related programs, and dry run two videos. You can watch these videos to know how you can dry run the program and find the output. Okay, let's begin now. This is the program. We need to find the output. So we are using sub procedure. So let me explain you a little bit about this. Declare sub so ABC. This is the declaration statement of sub procedure. Whenever you are uh, creating a sub procedure or function procedure, you need to declare that first. So I have declared this is keyword declare sub. I'm using sub. So this is the name of the sub procedure and I'm passing the value that is ABC dollar. This is a string variable name. Okay, this is declaration. After declaration CLS to clear the data of the output screen, then ABC dollar equals to watermelon. This is a string variable ABC dollar and I'm keeping value watermelon. I'm not taking input. I'm just keeping value directly. Okay, then after that, we need to call sub procedure. So I'll use this call statement to call the sub procedure. Call then sub procedure name is what? So ABC dollar. This is same as it is. To call that, we need to write call then so ABC dollar, whatever is written here. Okay, after calling this, after writing this, the program control will go to this line because we have called the sub procedure and the sub procedure definition is written here over here. So sub so abc dollar so here also we need to write exactly same just accept this declare sub so abc dollar we need to write here the control will come here it will receive the value of abc dollar from here so abc dollar value is what watermelon so this abc dollar will receive that value abc dollar will contain what watermelon so let's start the dry run when we come to this sub procedure we need to start the dry run so abc dollar have now watermelon fine so i'm using this dry run table to show you the dry run it will be easy for you to understand so abc dollar have now watermelon okay i'm using here loop so i will write how many times loop gets executed here one two three like that we have a variable also over here this one so i'm using here a variable then this is for loop i will write here whether the loop is true or false and then after that we have j variable also so i have written here j and finally output so whatever uh, the program will print we'll write here in the output screen this is the output okay so let's start this loop for a equals to 3 so i will keep here 3 because the starting value of our loop is 3 then this loop is started so i will write here 1 so loop is executing one time it is not necessary to write but you can write so for a equals to 3 means initially value of a will be 3 so i have written here 3 then for a equals to 3 to 5 this condition is true or false it is written here 3 to 5 yes value of a is 3 so this condition is true so i'll write here true okay when this condition is true it will go inside the loop inside the loop there are two lines written here first of all j j equals to a plus 2 so a value is what 3 you can see here 3 plus 2 3 plus 2 is what 5 then mod 4 so mod 4 5 mod 4 means divide 5 by 4 so 4 ones are 4 and 5 minus 4 will be 1 remainder will be 1 you can divide this 5 with 4 so you will get remainder as 1 so you need to write remainder because it is written here mod mod will give the remainder so value of j is 1 
okay so this is also done next is print mid dollar abc dollar a comma j value of a is what three value of j is what one so abc dollar means watermelon so we want to print using mid dollar that means from this watermelon this a means starting position so a starting position is three and how many characters this j will denote so j value is one so from third position only one character so let me check one two three this t is the third position and from third position only one character means it will print t t will be the output because it is written in the print statement then that means next a now next a means value of a will be incremented by one so value of a will be four so loop execute this second time okay next a whenever we come to the next a statement the value of a will be incremented that will be first of all it was three now it is four and after incrementing it will go to the for loop again here to check the condition whether it is true or false now we have value of a as four and this loop will execute up to three to five so this is also true now when this is true it will go inside the loop so j equals to a plus 2 mod 4 now a is what 4 plus 2 it means it is 6 and mod 4 so divide 6 by 2 so 2 uh, sorry 4 so 4 ones are 4 and 6 minus 4 will be 2 so remainder will be 2 you can divide 6 by 4 remainder will be 2 value of j is 2 now now print mid dollar abc dollar abc dollar means watermelon it is not changed yet so from watermelon a starting position that we have is 4 so starting position is 4 how many characters it is mentioned by j so from fourth position two character you can check here 1 2 3 4 this is fourth position e two character means er will be the output so er from fourth position to character then next day next day means value of a will be incremented by one that is initially it was before four now it is five after incrementing it will go to the loop again for loop a equals to five a to equals to three to five so it is up to range is still it is five so condition is again true up to five so true when it is true again j equals to a plus 2 mod 4 so a value is what 5 we have here 5 5 plus 2 this is 5 plus 2 that is 7 then mod 4 again divide 7 by 4 so 4 ones are 4 so 7 minus 4 will be remainder 3 you can divide and check it will it will give remainder as 3 so j value is 3 after that print mid dollar abc dollar abc dollar means again watermelon it is not changed yet from abc dollar starting from this a means fifth position so let me check one two three four five this r is the fifth position how many characters it is mentioned by j so look at here updated value three so from fifth position three characters so r is the fifth position e m e r m e so r m e this is the output because it is written in the print statement next a next a means value of a will be incremented by one so it will be six again look this is third time this is fourth time okay so six after incrementing it will go to the loop and check the condition so six loop is running from three to five now value we have is six so it is false it is not in the range when it is false this loop is false it will go directly next line just after next day that is end sub so our sub procedure work is finished now it will go back to the here from where it is called so this is done now we have end so this is the end of the program and then our output is t e r RME. This is the output, final output. So in this simple table, you can write in the program and you can display in this way. It comes for two marks in exam. Okay, one more important point to remember. 
if we remove this declare statement still program will run so let me show you by copying this program from here and i will paste it in the qbasic and also here. you can see here i have pasted the same program over here and you can see the output t e r r m e it was same like we have tried on the program so main important point to remember if we remove this declare line from here delete this declare line still it will give the correct result but while writing a program it is necessary or best practice to write declare a statement but if sometime question is asked whether by removing the delete uh, declare a statement the program will execute or not you can say yes it will execute as you can see here thank you for watching if you understand this concept of dry run please like this video share with your friends and comment below if you have any confusion or any questions have a great day